Hey guys, it's me, Dave from the Kodo, back with another tutorial for you. And as you can see today, I'm going to show you how to automate your bee uh, breeding using the thermal expansion pipes. I've experimented with a couple of different layouts, but I came to a conclusion that this one is my favorite. So I'm going to show you how to make this one. Uh, basically, we're going to be using the item duct, which is very cheap, very early game, tin and uh, <coughs> lead to make six of the item and ducks. Uh, you'll also need a pneumatic servo, which is just glass on either side of redstone with iron on the top and bottom. Uh, you'll need a wrench of some sort as well. I'm using the engineer's wrench for that. But I'm going to show you this setup. Put the apiary down. You're going to take uh, an item duct, put it on top and side slash back. You're going to connect those two. And this is going to be very similar to my other layout, where you're going to put the uh, the chest on top. This can go anywhere you want. It just is easy to stack and uh, line up many in a row when you set it up this way. Uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to hit this, the top uh, piece of this item duct with a wrench so that the arrow is pointing out. And then right here you're going to hit this twice to make it green. Um, not the actual blue part, but this part right here you're going to make green. Now you're going to take the pneumatic servo, click on the uh, pipe, so now when you right click you'll be given this uh, interface on the on the item duct. You know, these these can be used to make it a little bit more uh, refined as to where your bees are going but for a basic setup we're just going to turn the redstone control off. This is going to function like an autarctic gate or a uh, redstone engine when it pulls out of the uh, out of the system. We're going to put a, uh, our bees in there. Let me grab Meadows Princess. Yeah, make sure there's a flower right next to it. So now, what is going to happen here is once the bee breaks, this is going to automatically, because we turned it to ignore redstone signal, is going to pull out. The green, by changing the item duct to green, makes this minus 10,000 blocks. So when it comes into the tube, the item duct goes, where is the shortest path? Well, the shortest path is not to the chest anymore. Now the shortest path is back into the apiary. If the uh, apiary has open slots, like for a drone or a princess, it'll fill those slots. Uh, combs can't go into the apiary, so it goes to the next available inventory, which is this chest. Uh, very, very simple. Very easy to get early game uh, with the apiaries. You can't use the bee houses because they can't be automated. But uh, with the apiary, very simple. It's very similar to using the apiary's pipe in my last tutorial. Uh, if this was helpful, give me a thumbs up, check out my channel for some more tutorials and tips, and like always, good luck and have fun.